I want to take you back to May. This is what uh, Kylian Mbappe said on World Cup qualifying, the difficulty of it. Argentina and Brazil don't have that level of competition in South America. The football is not as developed as in Europe. Oh. That is why most recent World Cup winners have been Europeans. Why we're bringing this up is the first time really we've heard Chiche, the Brazilian coach, respond to it. In an interview with ESPN FC, he said maybe Mbappe is talking about these Nations League clashes or European friendlies, but not World Cup qualifiers. We don't have, with all due respect, Azerbaijan to play. We don't have anyone that gives you a break. The qualifiers here have a much higher degree of difficulty than the group stage of European qualifying. Uh, Frank LeBeouf is still with us, but I feel drawn to our South American oh. um, <laughs> panellist. Um, I think at the time we discussed this, when Mbappe said this, and we kind of questioned where it was coming from, what Chiche is saying is right, isn't he? Absolutely. And the, the comments by Kylian Mbappe are shrouded by ignorance, really. It, it's just uninformed. It's not knowing the difficulties of qualifying in Commonwealth. You, you simply just do not know. You may have your opinion, but it's an uninformed opinion. Now, if indeed Mbappe wants to go down this direction and raise your hand if you're done listening to Kylian Mbappe talk about everything and anything there is, it seems like everything that comes up now has to do with Kylian Mbappe, penalty kick, controversy, technical directors, coaches, contracts. Uh, apparently, Kylian Mbappe is making decisions for everything, including how World Cup qualifiers should be in South America and why they're not competitive. I'm going to throw this at Kylian Mbappe. In France's World Cup qualifying group this past uh, qualifying cycle, you had Ukraine, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Finland, Kazakhstan. So and France, of course. Which one of those teams could actually challenge France to go to the World Cup? Maybe, maybe Ukraine, maybe. Mm -hmm. Everybody else, zero chance. Yep. So you already know that at worst in your group, you're gonna finish second. At worst. And you will have yet another opportunity to go in, into the playoffs. France, obviously, had no issues whatsoever beating these teams and qualifying onto the World Cup. So from their own experience, not something that I've made up, from their own experience, factual information, I would say to Kylian Mbappe, what are you talking about? All right. What are you talking about? Nonsense. It's nonsense. The lack of awareness and understanding of the difficulties in South America is because you don't know the challenges of going and actually trying to sprint up in La Paz or sprint up in Quito, or the heat of Venezuela, or the humidity of Colombia, or the grass that is this high, or the logistics of traveling around. You don't know these things. And as much as Kylian Mbappe is an incredible talent, just shut it. Shut up. Oh. Honestly. Oh. Yeah. Uh, this is what Messi had to say about it, um, speaking about <laughs> it before. Uh, many times we talked about that in Spain. When we returned from a qualifier, we told them, you don't know how difficult it would be for you to qualify for the World Cup if you had to go there, the altitude in the heat in Venezuela. Hey! hey. <laughs> it, it just seems, it just seems, it was seemed a silly thing to, for him to say at the time, Frank, and obviously uh, Chiche has kind of uh, doubled down on that now. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, sometimes you have to learn a lesson and it's been one for me. Sometimes you have to shut up. I didn't <laughs> shut up enough, as, as Craig mentioned. But I guess, I guess I'm not the only one. And uh, Kylian uh, doesn't have to answer to every question he's been asked. And because, of course, I don't know any, uh, any of those country and I've never played there where it's been so, it's, it's very simply hard to breathe when you play football. So, uh, yeah, sometimes when you don't know, you, you better shut up because it doesn't help you, it doesn't serve you, and you, you find yourself in a very difficult situation. Kylian Mbappe is a very smart person, he's very mature, but he made a mistake. Uh, like every, everybody can make in some comments, I think we should forget about it because clearly he doesn't know what he's talking about. Because like me, I wouldn't know none if uh, I would have not been asked that question. So it's better to forget about it and uh, accept the fact that it's very hard for any national team to qualify for the World Cup in South America because of, of the weather, the temperature, the humidity, some stuff that we don't really know in Europe. But the European teams have dominated of late, as we saw in that graphic. Last four World Cups are won by a European side. Okay. 
So does that mean that they're doing so because they're far more developed? Because they're more competitive games. Oh, they have, in, yeah. In qualifying, uh, that's right. Right, okay. I, I just, I think I just went through the qualifiers <laughs> in France, did I not? Uh, I, I don't know how else I can say this other than the fact that if, if you're killing Mbappe, go back to playing the game. This is what you do best. You're a unique talent that gets people off their seats because of that unique talent. I do not care about your opinions about South American qualifiers when you have no knowledge, no experience going through that process. If you don't understand it, if you haven't been through it, then your opinion is uninformed at best. I could be wrong, but I would say the majority of the players that play for these countries in South America play in Europe. Mm -hmm. So how can they be underdeveloped if the players are playing in Europe? Yeah, you get, you, I mean, you, you get, he's talking complete nonsense. Well, you can go across the board <laughs> to his teammates, his teammates at PSG. Well, where do you think Lionel Messi is from? Where is Marquinhos from? Where's Neymar from? Right? Okay, so and then he would make the argument, well, uh, Brazil and Argentina. Okay. I would suggest, and if he wants to go into a history lesson, we can go on a history lesson with him and take this ride. Nowadays, currently, only Argentina and Brazil realistically have a chance of winning a World Cup coming out of South America, right? But Uruguay, whatever you may think of the history of this game, Uruguay, you know how many World Cups they have? The same amount as France. Two. Uruguay has won two World Cups. Now, whatever you may think of what the World Cup was back then as to compare it now, it's not important to me. Because if we're going to talk about history and we're going to talk about facts, that's facts. That's not Brazil and Argentina. That's Uruguay. Same World Cup numbers of wins as France. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.